constantly, year after year after year. Wow. But that's a tremendously simpler thing than building a thinking machine. So, yeah, so I guess getting the more people, the better, and I suppose the better the collaboration and more, yeah, more orchestrated. Yeah, you need the right people. You need people who are good programmers and understand AI. And yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't think we... That's, you don't want 500 people on a project like this. It would just be chaos and then confusion. But the point is, it's it's a large project. And one of the issues in the AI field is most work is done in universities by graduate students. So you have the idea that, you know, one, two, or three PhD students working with a professor is going to be able to make profound progress on the AI problem. But I mean, Wait a minute, then, then why does it take 100 people to build and update Microsoft Word, right? Yeah, yeah. So, of course, a grad student or a small team thereof could make a conceptual breakthrough. If they, could, they could have an interesting insight that, that will move things forward. But to actually build an AI... Bigger deal. ...the hard-scale engineering problem along with a collection of interlocking deep research problems. And, and, and I think maybe the 100 people thing also ties into the whole profit element. Obviously, you guys are leveraging your technologies now in different markets, um, but Microsoft is, you know, they're selling Word however many gajillion times over so they can afford to have 100 people on it. Maybe that's why, um, you know, a lot of people think Google's going to come through with a lot of breakthroughs because they're able to leverage that technology in a profitable business sense, and they've got Kurzweil and all that. Um, do you kind of have an understanding of sort of the direction they're going and how many people they have working together? Or are they in kind of a different domain of AI? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hold up. Yeah. You broke up a little bit there, uh, there, Ben. Give me a second here. Then you're more likely to solve the problem that you're working on rather than something else. Right? So, that's right. Oh, hold up. I think you just, uh, it just got a little bit sketchy in between there. Can you still hear me all right? Can you, can you hear me okay now? Yeah, I can hear you decent now. Yep. I think it's when the camera moves around a lot. Skype gets all uh, all discombobulated. Silly old Skype. Anyway. Okay. Yep, a little bit. Hold on. I think it's got 